My motivation for the Halloween display this year was actually the Adams Family. Last fall, I won the Adams Family hats fresh off the Department 56 shelves in a raffle at a village collector's meeting. In this video, I'm going to walk you through my typical planning procedures with the Adams Family as my village theme. Once I know my theme, I'm scouring the web for ideas and inspirations. You can check out my stash at this link below. I rewatched the 1991 movie. It was so great. I also binge watched the series in an effort to acquit myself with the Adamses again. I'm jotting down ideas and making mental notes on keywords to guide me. And I'm lucky. The theme song of the TV show pretty much sets up a nice keyword list. But I wanted to dig a little deeper than spooky. I mean, what the heck is ooky? No matter. Here are some other keywords that I found. The Adamses have eccentric tastes, especially when it comes to food. No all-American hot dogs or barbecues are here. It's yak, but on silver platters, of course. The Adamses are extremely wealthy and aren't really afraid to flaunt it. There is an air of sophistication about them. They're just a little bit distant from everybody else. The Adamses are obsessed with death. It's a glorifying experience for them. I mean, they even have a family cemetery in the backyard. The Adamses relish oddities, and most family members, at least in the film, have some sort of deformity that makes them perfectly unique. It's these kind of physical features that really add to the personality of the show and the movie. The kids and parents are seen playing with weapons throughout the TV series. A lot of weapons all the time. In addition to the glorification of death and dying, the Adamses are interested in preservation and also decay. They don't seem affected by time passing by like the rest of the world. They refer to the past with reverence. It's really hard to tell what the time is exactly. In full disclosure, I had no idea that the Adams Family started out as a comic, and I have watched the 2019 movie. So I decided that what I'm going to do is limit the Adams Family Village to what I know and what I feel comfortable with. I'm basing everything off the TV series and the movie. The original movie. In this village, I'm letting those keywords guide my choices on time and place. I have a lot of flexibility with timeless. I decided on a gothic style within the 1930s. I need a heavy, dark, medieval feel with a hint of exclusivity and opulence. I also want to express death, but not in a bloody, gory sort of way. It's got to be classy, and I need the environment to be overly dramatic, like a Shakespearean tragedy. For the color scheme, the village pieces are primarily shades of gray to black. There's also a very bright, orangey, yellowy kind of light. To offset the bland gray, I'm going to throw in some shades of purple to complement the yellow lights in the background. And I'm also wanting to throw in some red hues in there as an accent. I think Morticia would appreciate that. The demands are really just needs, things that are required to tell the story of what I'm displaying. And I've identified two. I think that the first one are the characters. So the family members are pretty important to the display and I'm hoping that I can get all of them thrown in there. The next thing I need to tell the story is the Adams Family house. Most of the action in the series and the movie happens in the house. It's, it's critical. The desires are a secondary needs. They aren't pertinent to telling the story. So I really do want some foo-foo items that I can add to enhance those elements of playfulness, eccentricity, death, deformity, etc. I could probably come up with dozens of these additional items to add to the Adams Family experience, but here's a few that I'm going to focus on for this project. First and foremost, we need Thing. It doesn't look like the Department 56 people made Thing. I don't know why, but I have to have him. So we're going to have to get a severed hand in there somehow. Morticia is an avid gardener and enjoys pampering her many plants. I'm going to have a lot of fun coming up with dramatic, deviant, and deadly trees, flowers, and shrubs. There are a lot of pets in the Adams family, at least 16 that I've seen, and that includes plants, lions, spiders, octopus, vultures, and there's a lot of great, great pets. Anything creepy or deformed would fit in perfectly. 
I can go in any direction with weaponry, but I'm feeling like medieval spears will suffice. Maybe a rack. Maybe an Iron Maiden. We'll, we'll see. This is my Adam's Family themed term for food and food making stuff. Something that Grandmama would definitely have. After all, she really did impress me with her culinary skills. I'm thinking a cauldron at the very least. Anything else would be just fun. And a cemetery. They mention the graveyard in the series and show it in great detail in the movie. So if I can pull it off, I'd like to throw in a few graves in addition to the family crypt. In the TV show, the gate has a almost character-like feel to it. It opens and closes on its own. So I really wanted to have a fence and a gate to kind of add to this aloofness, elitist feel. Now I'm going to sketch out a rough, very rough, concept drawing. I'm starting with the house, crypt, and garage, all pieces from the Department 56 Adams Family set. The wants, the desires. I put the gate and fence on the side and curve it towards the front. I'm creating little stations for each character just to help spread them out a little bit, give them an identity to their own, give them something to do. I'm going to have Gomez and Fester on the left with a car or some nefarious TBD activity. The matriarch, Morticia, is going to be on the right of the house and maybe in and amongst some Adams-esque plants. Granny Frump, which I'm personally relabeling as Grandmama, is going to be near a cauldron with maybe a potential menu item. Lurch needs to be near the front door to do his job, so I'm going to have to have a sidewalk. Who am I missing? Oh, the kids! I'll put them farther to the right of Morticia and give them a little play area with various instruments of, of good, clean, torturous fun. I'm going to hide thing somewhere. A few graves. A few dead trees. A few knickknacks. Well, it's getting a little crowded. Will the space accommodate all of this? I'm not too worried about that right now. I'm still in the planning stage. I'm just brainstorming. And even if the village won't look exactly like my concept drawing, I mean, what if I think of new things or find that I can't get to every task on this list? It's totally okay. This can always be revisited and modified as I go. Just ideas in the making. And more importantly, these are ideas for you. If you are a lover of the Adams Family, please share your ideas and comments. With that, I bid you adieu and happy villaging. <music>